So you put the stick in the palm of your hand, keep an eye on the top of the stick, and then breathe and keep the stick from moving. So the stick should look very, very calm. And only movement from my shoulder, my elbow, my hand, that's the only things that should be moving, if anything. You'll see your tension in the stick. So if the stick is moving real crazy and wobbly, that means that's what's going on inside you. So use the stick as a, as a mirror to see what's going on inside you. Right now that stick is moving real calm. Next, I will move to my elbow. So when moving to the elbow, I'd like to come up on one knee. And what you should do is you should feel your arm uh, instead of moving like your whole body, you should really focus on moving your shoulder and your arm. So once again, what I want to do is breathe, keep that muscle relaxed, and feel the top of the stick. Now I'm going to switch. 10 seconds, 15 seconds, work your way up one second at a time, and don't overdo it. So you're just trying to build tension back in when you're balancing. So again, the idea is in the elbow, keeping your shoulder and uh, your hand and everything else. Put the stick on the balance point on top of your shoulder. You want the, uh, right on top of your trap. You can find a nice little, little shelf for the stick to rest on. And you want to move your arm around slowly without letting the stick roll up. So what we'll do is we'll find that balance point on the shoulder. It's a nice tricky little move. Once we're balanced, and you can see if you don't find that balance point, most of the time it's heavier on the back it'll move. And once we get that balance, I move my arm slowly over without overdoing it. Staying relaxed. Touch and move. And then I'll switch. Again on the left side. Nice and easy. Stay relaxed. And you might want to start moving from the elbow down first, the fingers, you see, a little bit more basic. See if you have any movements at all before you start moving the big part to your arm. And then move that arm around, twist it, and see what you can do. See, the idea is we move our arms a lot and sometimes our own arm movements disturb our minds and we don't even know it. So what we need to do is learn to move our arms around calmly that doesn't disturb the, the mind. The last one that draws the arms together is the top of the head. So what you want to do is find that balance point in the top of your head. And it doesn't matter if you have hair gel or not or a ponytail. Find that place, move your fingers, move your elbows, shoulders. Check your breathing. Now next is kind of tricky, you want to move your eyes. So I start moving my eyes and I can see the stick moving a little bit the more I move my eyes. So after I see all of that, I'm moving my eyes, my arms, I'm not losing the stick. What I'm starting to do is come up and go back down. When I see I'm okay, I'm not losing the stick, arms are moving, very good. Then I go from one foot to the other. I can see my balance is still fine in the stick. Then I start to go back. And what I want to do then is find myself standing up. And I breathe and I move. Check forwards. Yep. Backwards. Side. When you teach this, if you're a teacher, it's fun for kids. Have little competitions. And it helps calm them down. You know, we can tell ourselves, stay calm, breathe, relax. But it's good to have something like this that can show you if you really can stay calm. And relax because if I'm not calm this stick is gonna fall for sure and then I'm back down so we're gonna start off with some basic balance drills for your legs and you want to start off on your back so doing this we want to start off with two feet so if you if you've seen our arm stretching video and arm balance video we do this using both feet at the same time and then or both hands at the same time then moving from one to the other and seeing how we develop great balance through those exercises. So you want to bring your legs up and you want to find that spot on your, on your feet that kind of hold the stick. So this one's a little bit easier than the rest. And right now I'm going to spin a little bit so you can see. So you can see the stick is nice and balanced. And then I'm going to spin a little bit more and I don't lose it. Now, to get into the next balance row, what we'd like to do is move our feet. 
So I want to move the stick on the center, taking up the weight that was on both feet. So now all the weight is balanced on the center of my foot and I'm not losing it so you can see that I feel comfortable and then I start to move a little bit. So it's important that you don't just balance, you move a tiny bit so you can see where that stick is going and how it's reflecting against you. What I mean by that is the stick is a reflection of what's going on inside you. So if the stick is calm and balanced, that means my breathing, my psyche is calm and balanced. If it starts wiggling, going all over the place, then we know what's going on in your head. My spot on your foot where you feel your most balanced at, breathe, hold it, and then move. So move the stick a little bit, not too fast or you lose it, and hold. This one from the ankle, we're gonna go straight to the knee now and check our knee joint. So you have to keep your balance on your back foot, find that spot on your knee, and breathe. As you can see, the stick's not moving much, so I am pretty comfortable, pretty balanced, and I move my toes and my foot, stick's not moving too much, my knee, and I still have it. Then I switch, so I pick my knee up, find that spot right about there, and what I do is check my toes, my ankle, knee, and the last part is it is for the hip even though it's on the leg. So what's funny is the stabilization comes from how you move your how you move your leg from your hip. So kind of tricky. You want to find the spot on the top of your foot where the stick hooks into. And you watch the top of the stick. When you any of the stick straight up and down drills, you want to watch the top, it keeps your focus and it makes the stick one piece. If you start looking in the middle, you start talking about a lot more difficult drills. So right now, we watch the top and we pick our foot up. And what you wanna do is breathe and get a little bit of movement in there, tiny bit. Don't let it rest against anything, don't let it touch anything, and don't be afraid if it moves. Because if you freak out when it starts moving, you'll lose it. Once you can do that for 10 seconds, you switch, I'm gonna find a good spot on my foot, balance, find that spot, breathe, and a little bit of movement. And I'm relaxed. So find a spot on your foot, balance it out, and be calm about it. Don't be too, don't be in a rush to balance. The more you're in a rush, the harder it is to balance any of these drills. So stay calm, stay slow, stay relaxed. What you want to do is you want to do an exercise that encompasses everything at once, or at least a lot more than just that one thing. So if I'm stretching my arm out, I should have that same kind of stretch for my leg. If I'm balancing with my arm, I should be able to balance similar on my leg. And that way I keep my body balanced. Okay, but this is the, the goal here. This should be the same goal over here. So I'm not wasting any time. I'm getting better at everything when I'm doing one thing.